Hello, in this video I'll discuss how you can use Max Proxy to export a build from Second Life or OpenSim and then import it into 3ds Max. First, let's take a look at the documentation that's available for Max Proxy. This is the Prem Composer homepage, and in the middle of the page is a link to the documentation and support. On the support page we find the reference documentation and here a link to the online documentation for Max Proxy. This is actually a blog post that was made to announce the release of Prim, Prim Composer version 1.1 but there are two sections here that are specifically about Max Proxy. Introducing the Max Proxy exporter and using Max Proxy to export from Second Life. Max Proxy is actually a command line program that sits between the Second Life viewer and the grid server, whether it be Second Life or OpenSim. In this diagram, you can see it visually represented here. As the viewer makes requests to the grid server and the grid server sends back data, Max Proxy and filters uh, that data to pick out the build that the user wants to export. It then saves that build into an XML file and as images for the textures. Since it's a command line program, it has to be run from within the DOS like command prompt. So let's begin there. First, we'll open a command prompt. Go to the Start menu, Programs then accessories and finally the command prompt. Once the command prompt win window is open you need to change the directory to the maxport directory of the Prem Composer distribution. Type CD for change directory and then the path to the maxport folder of the distribution. In my case I've actually copied Max, the Maxport folder to a different place. So I'll CD to Tools Maxport and then type DIR dir for a directory listing. Here we have the contents of the Maxport folder from the regular uh, distribution of Prim Composer and we see Maxport.exe which I describe in, in a, another video and maxproxy.exe which we'll use in this video. If you type maxproxy by itself it will list the most important command line options as well as some uh, instructions for how to use it, what it is, so forth. The most important option is to tell it which grid you want to perform uh, your export from. So for example if you were going to export from the main uh, Second Life grid you would type max proxy space dash dash main. If you're going to export from the uh, Second Life test grid, beta grid, you would type max proxy dash dash test but today we're going to export from OpenSim running on my local computer. So in this case, we want this option here, the proxy remote login URI. So we'll type proxy remote login URI equals. And then since, uh, since OpenSim is running on this machine, I'll type its address as HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 that's the loopback address for this machine and then 9000 for port number. We can also specify the export directory that is where we want Max Proxy to store the build that we export. If you don't specify an export dir, it will store it automatically in c colon backslash prims. So in this case, 
I'll specify an export directory equal to c colon backslash tutorials. So anything that I export will be saved to the tutorials folder in, on, on the C drive. So if we press return now, it's going to tell me that it's running and that it's ready and waiting on port 8080. Now we need to configure the uh, Second Life uh, viewer. Let's go to all programs and then the Second Life release candidate. This would actually work with Second Life just as well or with any other browser uh, for, second, for Second Life or OpenSim but we'll use the Second Life release candidate. Right click on the item for starting Second Life. Holding down the right key, drag it off the menu. The menu will go away and now drop, release the right button and copy it to the desktop. Now we want to change this so that when we log in using the viewer it will connect to Max Proxy and Max Proxy tells us that it's listening to 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. So let's edit this shortcut and at the end of the command line here type in dash login URI space http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 so this tells Second Life, the Second Life viewer when it starts up that it should connect to this address at port 8080 and when it does that it will connect to the Max Proxy exporter the Max Proxy exporter, in turn, has been told that it should perform its export from 127.0.0.1.9000, and that happens to be the, the address at which OpenSim is running on this machine. So the sequence of events will be, we start the Second Life viewer, it connects to port 8080, which is the Max Proxy exporter, then the exporter will connect to port 9000 which has OpenSim and will have a chain going there from Second Life viewer to Max Proxy to OpenSim. Let's watch it in action. So just click apply and OK for this. Also you might want to rename this to uh, Max Proxy or just something so that you know it's not the official Second Life link. I have uh, OpenSim already running here so let's just arrange our windows so that we can see both and I'll double click on our new Max Proxy shortcut. Oops, okay, one thing I forgot Let's take one last look at Max Proxy Exporter. Um, let's press Control C to stop Max Proxy and then take a look again at the command line that I typed previously. Uh, there's one little issue when you're specifying the export dir. The directory name that you specify can't end in a single slash. It can end in no slash so C colon backslash tutorials or it can end in two backslashes like this but if you have only one backslash it causes problems so let's uh, just get rid of this one backslash and then we'll run max proxy again 
very important to keep in mind your export won't work if you have a single slash at the end of your directory name there. All right, now let's start the Second Life viewer. We're going to connect through the Second Life, uh, through Max Proxy to the OpenSim instance running on this machine. So I'm going to use the master avatar name, the default master avatar name for OpenSim, which is test user with a password of test and press login. So now it says welcome to OpenSim. We're logging into OpenSim through Max Proxy, and as soon as we log in, it will tell us that it's running. So here we see its message down at the bottom here, telling us which version of Max Proxy is running. Now, from this point on, Max Proxy is listening to our chat, so we can give it commands. If we type slash help, it will show us the commands that it understands. And the command to export is slash save and then a project name. So the first thing we need to do is to select the prims that we want to export. I'll select this this build out in the distance. Okay, so it's selected. Now I'm going to give Max Proxy a command. Slash save and then the name of the project that I want to save it under. I'll call it build1 and press return. So Max Proxy tells me that it saved 43 of 43 prims and that it saved it into c colon backslash tutorials backslash build one. Perfect. So we're done with this. We can close the Second Life viewer here. If we wanted to export some more prims, we could just select another prim or another set of prims and execute the save command again with a different project name. But for now, this is all we want to do. So let's exit the Second Life viewer. Let's take a quick look. Uh, we noticed an error was thrown here when we logged out in Max Proxy. That's okay. And to get rid of, to close Max Proxy, just type Control C, and we're back to normal. All right. Let's quickly take a look at where it saved the files. Uh, I told it to save it on the C drive, in tutorials, and in the project called build1. And here we can see our build1.xml file which contains information about the prims that we exported. Now let's start open up 3ds Max. Inside of 3ds Max, we can now import this project that we just saved out of OpenSim. Go to Prim Composer, export, uh, sorry, import. It wants to know the XML file to load, so let's browse to where it is. And we want the C drive, tutorials, build1, build1.xml, and press open. And it has an option here to import textures or not, but as of the current release, 1.1.4, Max Proxy does not export textures. So it really doesn't matter what we do here, but I'll uncheck that because we really can't get textures yet. Hopefully in 1.2 of Prim Composer, um, Max Proxy will be able to export textures, but only textures for Prims, only textures that you uh, uploaded yourself. So let's press import now. And we see our build coming in here. And there were no errors. And there's our build just exactly the way it looked inside of OpenSim except there are no textures. But that's coming. All right. At this point we could now start manipulating this 
inside of uh, 3ds Max. Uh, when it comes in, they're all grouped into a single group, so we can ungroup this. And now we have several link sets here, and we can say open one of these groups and then click on an individual prim here and now we have our standard second life properties to manipulate this with path cut, hollow, twist, taper, top shear, etc. So we've got a true export from OpenSim into 3ds Max it looks exactly the same, it's the same size, it has the same number of link sets, everything's the same, and now we can edit it. We, if we, once we're done with it, we could then export the whole thing again, and then re-import it into OpenSim. We can also, if we want to, once we've exported it, we could use Maxport to re-upload the build to a different grid. So, for example, we could be working on it in our local grid, running on our computer, export it from our local sim, and then use Maxport to re-upload it to a public sim, for example, OS grid. That's pretty much it uh, as far as Max Proxy goes for now. Uh, in the future, as I said, you'll be able to export textures and uh, I'm sure we'll be adding many more features to it. But for now, it's pretty cool as it is.